Here's what I notice as a single woman. Every time that I'm longing for a man and masculine presence, it's because I am too much in my own masculine and my hyper masculine where I'm in doing, doing, doing. And I'm craving some man to come along and take over that so I can rest in my feminine. But I can actually just rest in my feminine. It's a little bit of a tricky shift to make, but it's possible. Welcome, brothers. Today, we're going to watch another video about the dilemmas of the modern woman. Like when girls realize they're dating the same Chad, or how single mothers don't understand the relationship is over. But before we continue, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, leave us a comment. Brothers, we're now on TikTok, so feel free to check it out. The link is in the description. Without further ado, let's get started. He even gave us both the exact same charm bracelet. Oh. When he gave you yours, did he say, it's one of a kind, just like you? <laughs> <laughs> at least he had mine engraved to Carly and yours to Tori. Yeah, at least... Wait. Mine says to Topi. <laughs> you didn't even notice they got the engraving wrong. Unless he's dating a third girl named Topi. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> Okay, now that we all know Steven's a stinking cheater, let's talk about revenge. Once again, I offer the butter sock. We don't just want to hurt Steven. We don't? No. Oh. Steven was simply expressing his open hypergamy because women get bothered when a man dates multiple girls. If this man hasn't offered you a commitment or labeled the relationship, be it boyfriend, fiancé, or wife, let me tell you that he doesn't owe you anything. He was just someone you were getting to know, and he has every right to keep dating because he's not obligated to choose you just because you decided to go out. Women get upset, brothers, when a man has options because it reminds them that they're not as special as they think. It shows that there are other women out there like you or even better. That's why when a man stops talking to them or dismisses them, we all know men dismiss silently, women tend to cling more to him. Now, they see him as a challenge they want to conquer, even if they appear to be friends. If the man brings a lot to the table, believe me, they'll betray each other because, as we all know, women are very competitive. They don't want anyone to end up with what they consider theirs. As I'm telling you, brothers, a woman's worst enemy is another woman. <laughs> I'm in shock and I need to tell, I need to tell people about what just happened. So I've dressed to get dinner tonight. And, um, this man is on his way and he's booked dinner and he's coming to pick me up and he texts me as I'm getting ready, like half an hour before. And he goes, I kid you not word for word. All right, you shallow bitch. Don't judge my car. I've had it since I was 18 and no one has a car in London. This is our second time meeting. And um, he is a over 30 year old plus man, he has a normal career and we barely have a friendly relationship. You know, it's only our second time getting dinner together. And I was just like, what? Like no one, I barely call my friends cuss words. And if we ever do playfully call each other bitch, it's very, very, very few friends in person. And it's like people that I'm very close with. I have very little tolerance for cuss words, especially with men I go on dates with. So this really threw me off. And I told him, I was like, what? Like, why would you call me that? And then as I'm getting ready and I talk to my younger brother and I told him what happened, he goes, why, don't go to dinner. And I initially didn't feel like I could have just canceled because I felt bad that this person was on their way. But then I thought to myself, you know what? Like, this is not okay for me. And these are my standards. I don't want to get dinner with someone that can just call me that whenever they want. And so literally as he got here, I, I let him know. And he calls me 
and complains and says that it's rude that I intentionally let him know now that he's driven across the city. And um, when I explained to him, hey, like I didn't know how I was feeling, like I didn't realize how upset it made me feel and I was being super respectful, he literally hung up on me. And then 10 minutes later sent me a long ass apology. (laughs) This is a grown man over 30 thinking it's okay to call a woman a bitch before coming to pick her up for dinner. But you know what? When one door closes, another opens because another sweet boy who is planning a date began texting me about the next date that he was planning for us. And um, moral of the story is don't be afraid to cut people off on the first go because what the hell? The moral of the story is that a woman never lacks options. There's always a hidden sim somewhere offering a free dinner. Brothers, this woman mocks this man's car when she probably doesn't even have one herself. For a man, a vehicle is something very special, especially if he bought it himself. Perhaps this man was wrong to speak to her that way, but we also need to consider how she referred to his car and offended him in the first place. What I want you to notice is how they always talk about my standards as if it's a type of product that only a certain type of customer can buy. Another thing to note is the hypocrisy of women nowadays. If this man canceled on her, saying he had another dinner with a friend, he would be labeled a misogynist. But when a woman says she has multiple options, men in the friend zone, she's an empowered woman. Such a double standard, brothers. I called my baby daddy and asked him if he wanted to come over for dinner. Hello? Hey. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? Driving to work right now, what you... Are you in a bad signal area? Everything all right? Uh, I was a minute ago, but not anymore. Yeah, everything's good. Um, I was, <laughs> I was wondering something. Uh huh. I was thinking about making chicken pot pie for dinner. Um, do you think you would want to come over and have dinner with me and the kids tonight? We haven't had anything like that I've cooked in a while. I mean, don't get me wrong, that sounds absolutely delicious. Um, Everything all right? Yeah. I was just wondering. um, All right, well, yeah, I'd I'd love to. Really? I think that sounds amazing. Yeah. Um, I'll get uh, dinner together and I'll tell the girls that their dad is coming to see them. They'll be uh, be tickled to see you. I can't wait to see them either. All right, well, drive safe. Thanks, uh, you too, whenever you drive. Oh my God. All right, bye. You be safe, bye. Why would you record a conversation with your ex-husband? Would you make it public for the world to see? I just don't understand if people have lost the concept of privacy. Now everything has to be shared. If the call had gone south, who would be the bad guy here? Because maybe this person has a more or less good co-parenting relationship, but when things go south between them, the man only accepts calls from his ex-wife for matters related to their children, nothing else. If he had responded poorly, this man would now be punished by the entire internet. One thing I want you to notice, brothers, is that if a relationship ends, trying to stay friends with your ex is like trying to leave the house but keeping one foot inside. You know what happens. You never really move forward. If you have children, let the contact be only for the kids because constantly going back will only make it harder to move on with your life. Yeah, um, I think the women of Nova Scotia have uh, broken the internet today. I'm not going to put any screenshots, but there is now a group and the group is called, hang on, it's called Are We Dating the Same Guy, Nova Scotia. And I was like, damn, this is going to be extra juicy. So I joined the group. Men, there ain't no getting away now. (laughs) So one girl posted a picture of a guy and they don't say the names or anything. And it was like, oh, does anybody recognize this guy looking for any red flags, blah, blah, blah. There was one girl that commented underneath the picture and she put, yeah, I work in a jail in this place and uh, he's currently an inmate. (laughs) Oh my God. 
there's people I've seen on there that I know. And the comments, it's like, oh, he did this to so-and-so and this, here's, here's screenshots of this conversation he had with me and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, whoa, the tea is hot. Men, if you're watching this, don't mess with no Nova Scotia ladies. You'll end up on that site. Then there's some, it's like, hey, does anyone recognize this guy? And then someone will comment, yeah, that's my baby daddy of my seven kids. Red flag. <laughs> Y'all ain't getting away with nothing no more. We've made several videos on the channel about this group, and you can find them there. But I must say that online dating for men is dead because they'll never stop being pursued by these women. If you have a crazy girl who's still obsessed with you and wants to make a mess of your love life, believe me, she'll be all over the city groups ruining your life by spreading things about you. But it seems that women, just for the gossip, don't see the danger in these groups where more and more women are joining just to defame men. The worst part is, even without knowing them, women who speak against the group or say something the toxic administrators don't like are kicked out. You see everything in these groups, even girls stealing photos from Instagram to post about a guy. Wise watching as someone posts about their husband, whether he's at fault or not, because some woman posted about him with a red flag or asking about him. This will only ruin marriages and the lives of good men, believe me, brothers, in the long run. This will affect women more than men. Go ahead. Tell okay, story. okay, guys. Sydney is sitting here. Talk, we're talking about this guy that Sydney used to date went on one date with and she's tell, talking all about how cute and romantic the date was what y'all do on the date it was so thoughtful we went to dinner we went got drinks we came back to an apartment that he rented out did sip and paint he bought his matching white t-shirts so that my clothes didn't get dirty i'm telling her i'm like it was so cute so thoughtful i'm showing her pictures and I'm like, I have that photo. Like, the, I'm looking at this picture of Sydney in her white t-shirt doing sip and paint. And, and I'm she's like, I did the same thing with him. <laughs> we went on the same exact date. Because both, he, he did the same thing for both of us. And we're just putting it together. <laughs> we went on the exact same date. We Probably both, like a month apart, like less than a month apart from each other. We were both wearing white t-shirts. He, he bought us both. <laughs> he both took film camera pictures of us and sent it to us like, oh, this was so cute. Memories. Me, she's the exact same picture. She's talking about, she's sitting there talking about, oh, he took the cutest film picture of me. And I'm thinking, I have a film picture from Peyton. <laughs> It is the exact. I should. I'm gonna overlay the pictures. No, it's the exact same. It, it, we have the exact same outfit on. And you know who you are. And I think that <laughs> honestly, I applaud you because you're probably gonna see this. I applaud you. It was very thoughtful, but just know that we're putting it together. We now. were literally sitting here talking about. We think so highly of this person. We <laughs> we so had the best day of our life. He is such a good dater. We're both sitting here. It's the same person. <laughs> same person. But not only is it the same person, it's the same date. This, we, no, this, <laughs> the same person, the same date. He both got his white t-shirts and we both took the same film picture. He probably both took it of us and was like, Oh, let's have a cute picture. Let's take a cute memory. The same. Let's overlay it. Uh, we're gonna overlay it because we're gonna overlay this. This was this was th there is time between these two things, <laughs> okay? And he had the time to replicate the same exact date and to make us each feel like we had our so own. special. I swear, I was on top of the world. I was like this man. I was like, I had never done something so thoughtful, so fun, so creative. He bought the canvases. Yes. Bought the paint. Bought the canvas. Bought the paint. Bought a t-shirt for us to change into because he didn't want our clothes to get dirty. Sydney's sitting here talking about we have a cute film picture. I said, she said, wait, I have a film picture. I said, oh, really? Do you? <laughs> do you? Moral of the story. If you see this, we actually do love you. We do love you, but also it like men funny. are men are hilarious. Don't and date in New York. You're going to be dating the same person. Somehow. Yeah. Well, okay. I might as well just date Sydney at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Brothers. I want you to notice that this guy is a Chad, a man who brings nothing to the table except his seat. This guy knows how to take advantage of dating apps. He's got a good game. Look at these women going out with the same type, saying he made them feel special. You know, this guy has turned them into sisters. He knows how to play the game well. I'm sure he schedules these dates with several women, makes them feel like they had the best date in years, then takes them to his place, puts one of his shirts on them, and they're thrilled to be at Chad's house. Then he has his way with them. That's why I say women don't complain when a man brings a lot to the table.
Look at her now, laughing. I'm sure she'll say she wouldn't go out with him in public again, but when he calls them back, they'll sneak out because the man makes them feel special, stirs their emotions. Women will keep creating these Facebook groups, keep complaining about going out with the same man. But remember, a woman only gives a like to about 20% of men. No wonder she keeps going out with the same ones over and over, they're rejecting most men. And the men who take advantage of dating apps won't commit because they're enjoying the variety. They won't give that up for a single flavor ice cream. Brothers, it's good to have options like women. Let no one tell you otherwise. We've reached the end of the video, but before we go, the questions are for you. What do you think of this Chad's strategy for dating? What do you think about dating apps that only a minority of men truly enjoy? If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. Your support means the world to us and motivates us to create more content. Stay tuned for the next exciting video from The Wall.